All right, we're going to introduce the concepts of work, power, and energy. And this con these concepts or these uh, formulae are a different way to describe and analyze motion than using Newton's laws. Okay, so we're going to try to find some parallels between them. So the first concept is work. Sometimes a U, sometimes a, a capital W, but work is basically force times distance. So for a weightlifter, the force is the weight lifted, right? It's force due to gravity acting on these weights. And then the distance um, the weightlifter lifts is the D, and so the F times the D gives you the work that was performed um, at the joint torque level or muscle force level. All right, <clears throat> you can have concepts of positive and negative work. Positive work is when you are basically lifting something or going against gravity. So in the squat, it's the up phase. For this pull down, it's actually the down phase when the, the stack is being lifted. That's positive work. Negative work is when you are lowering the weight. The down phase of the squat, the um, extending your, your glenohumeral, or flexing your glenohumeral joint, extending your elbows in this activity and lowering the stack. Positive and negative work also coincides with concentric and eccentric muscle contractions. So during positive work, you are concentrically <coughs> contracting your muscles. Negative work, you are eccentrically or con contracting your muscles. Okay, so some definitions. The product of force and displacement in the direction of that force is work. It is the means by which energy is transferred from one object to another. Okay, and so the concept of energy is going to be very analogous to the concept of momentum. Work is very analogous to the concept of impulse. So as we said before, here's the equation, F times D. The interaction of these variables, force and displacement, are inversely related. And the units of measure are Newton meter. Energy is the capacity to do work. You have potential and kinetic energy, which you may remember from physics or even high school physics. Potential energy is the capacity to do work um, based on the object's position. And so it's the gravitational potential energy. So potential energy, PE, is equal to mass times gravity times the height. Right? So the higher you are, the greater potential energy you have. Um, gravity is constant, and mass and H are inversely related. And so the units of measure are Newton meter or a joule. Since we're into energy, joule is the unit of measure. We also have kinetic energy, which is very similar to momentum. This is the capacity to do work due to an object's motion. And this, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this equation, one half mv squared. Okay, and if you look at the equation, if you remember back to momentum, which is mass times velocity, this is very similar, except you have a velocity squared term. And mass and velocity are inversely proportional, but which variable has more effect? And that would be velocity, since it's to the square power. And the units, again, are the same as potential energy, a joule. And then finally, we have this concept of strain energy. And this is the capacity to do work due to the deformation of an object. And this is like um, a rubber band, right? To shoot a rubber band, you deform it or you stretch it, you let it go, and it recoils, and that is where it gets its um, movement ability because of that initial deformation of the, the, of the rubber band. So strain energy is one half K, this stiffness of the material, times X squared, which is the deformation. So stiffness, think of if you had a really thick rubber band versus a really thin rubber band, so you can feel the stiffness difference, and how much you are able to deform that rubber band um, will give you the ability of how far it will move. So it will increase the strain energy, and the strain energy will be transferred into kinetic energy. And again, the measurement is a joule. This is also in... Um, pole vaulting, right? The bend of the pole stores energy. Um, we talk about the counter movement. This is the strain energy stored in your Achilles tendon or your 
patellar tendon or whatever is being stretched and, and holding energy that then is going to be transferred to the movement phase. And we'll stop.